if you just start learning Unity, these are some of the best tools you can get from the Unity Asset Store. And the best part is, they're currently on sale. Hey guys, Adam here from Pixel Mystique. I make games and I help others to learn game dev. By the way, if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing to get game dev tips, tutorials, and inspiration. And hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new videos. So when you first start in game dev, you probably get a bit overwhelmed over the amount of things you have to learn and do. The reality is we all have limited time and resources to get the projects off the ground. If you're using Unity, you have access to the best asset store in the industry. And it's not just access to our assets, but also tools and plugins that can significantly help you out. So this list of assets I'm about to share with you is in not in any particular order, but after years of using and trying different tools and assets, I find that these assets to be some of the best for any beginner to start with. The thing is, I even use these tools and assets for different projects even today. Unity is having a May Madness sale right now, so I'll be providing links to all the assets in the description below so you can quickly check them out. You're welcome. Stick around till the end of this video because I have a special bonus that can give even more discounts for other beginner assets. Programming is needed for you to bring your games to life. However, it can be quite intimidating for beginners who are not very technical. Or maybe you've only been doing art and design so far. Playmaker allows you to do visual scripting, which is programming without having to write any code. Once you learn a little bit of programming logic, you can drag and drop pieces of actions, connect them together, and within minutes, see the results. If you want to be serious about game dev, I strongly recommend you learn how to code. But if you're just starting out and you're doing something simple, or maybe you're just testing something real quick, this is a great tool to have. And it can also be a stepping stone before you start diving into actual coding. This is one of the best selling assets on the asset store, and they have a strong community who are still active today, and they're sharing different recipes in their forums. I'll be doing more in-depth tutorial on Playmaker and it's part of my level design tutorials. Link is up here and in the description below. Bolt is another visual scripting tool that allows you to drag and drop actions without having to write code. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between Bolt and Playmaker? I don't have time to go to too much detail in this video, but based on some of the comments and feedback from other people and including my own experience, here's some key differences. Bolt gives you the flexibility to use flow graphs or state graphs. These are formats that visualizes your view of the code in Unity. Basically, flow graph is very similar to Unity's shader graph and Unreal's blueprint while state graph is very similar to Playmaker's interface and Unity's animator state machine. The other thing to note is that while Playmaker is easier to get started with, it gets very chaotic when you start expanding your projects or if you want to do more complex stuff. Bolt is also structured closer to C-sharp, which is the programming language that's used in Unity. This gives it a better advantage at helping you to get more familiar with writing actual code later on. Again, there's just so many different things to compare. So let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a video about the differences between Bolt and Playmaker. In the meantime, you can check out Bolt's official website where they compare not only with Playmaker, but also other visual scripting tools. There's a long table right there. So have fun, I'll leave a link in the description below. Here's the thing, in my opinion, Bolt had a rough start when it first launched. It was kind of slow and taking forever to load, and it had a bunch of other issues. But they have been listening to the community and they've been pushing updates to keep improving it. I find this one of the main selling points when I want to invest in an asset like Bolt. One of the buzzwords you hear in game dev is procedural generation. 
and is usually referring to how you can randomly create levels automatically to give more replayability to your game. I'm planning to have that feature in my own game that I'm currently working on called What The Hex. And when I was doing my research, I stumbled upon Dungeon. <laughs> dungeon. Dungeon. I love it. This tool allows you to procedurally generate a dungeon-like layout by piecing together rooms that you design inside the Unity editor. You get full control of dungeon settings that includes length, branching factors, and also weights for each room type. You can even get support for multiple floors with no additional work. Just need to place doorways where they should be and then Dungeon will handle the rest. Here's the thing, you can let something like Dungeon go completely random and just generate unpredictable levels or you can control the flow of your dungeon with an easy to use flow graph interface. You can even include local props, specify which objects and how many are meant to appear on room by room basis, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. You can check them out in their store page. As usual, link in the description below. The other thing that I like to do with tools and assets is to reverse engineer them. I find that this is one of the best ways to learn game development. For Dungeon, so for Dungeon, apparently there are some comments saying that they had fun diving into the source code and learning from it, which they claim is very valuable on its own. While we are on the subject of procedural generation, another top rated asset is definitely Gaia. Yup the name of the titan in Greek mythology. <laughs> Whether fully manual or fully procedural, or somewhere in between, Gaia can help you create your scene and then you can just sculpt, texture, plan, populate, and even set up your own character, water, and other effects. Terrains are created using stamps. Imagine them being giant brushes that you can use as a visual tool and you can then place different objects exactly where you want. This is important because while randomizing dungeons can be easier since it's basically using rooms and hallways, which has a very similar and modular style of shapes of squares and rectangles, when you're doing outdoor environments, things are more organically shaped. On top of that, Gaia has a whole suite of high quality sample assets so that you can get started easily. They've listed this sample assets in the website, so you can check it out if you want. This asset has a big passionate community behind it and it keeps improving with each update. Next on my list is Amplify Shader. Winner of Unity's Store Award for Best Tool 2017. This tool allows you to create amazing shaders without having to code. Think of it being similar to doing visual scripting in Playmaker and Bolt, but for graphics. While Unity has recently released a few tools to improve on their shader and rendering capabilities out of the box, I find that there is a lack of samples and detailed tutorials. And really, it's still early, so there's a lot of room for improvements. Not only does Amplify Shader has a big community, but they also have designed it in a way that it allows the community to easily share their shader templates and their work. They also have some templates in their website for you to get started. On top of that, you can easily view the actual code, making it easier for you to reverse engineer and learn to write your own shaders in the future. So before I reveal the special bonus for all of you, just want to let you guys know that I'll be making some tutorials for some of these assets in the future. So let me know in the comment section below which assets are you most excited about so that I can prioritize the videos in my queue. Oh, by the way, if you're a beginner and you want to learn more about Unity, you should check out my other video right here and in the description below where I recommend some of the best Udemy courses for you to start learning Unity. Okay, now here's your bonus. Now, as I mentioned, there's a limited time discount, 50% off on all these assets. However, you can get 55% off if you get this bundle instead. 
This is Unity's offer. So I don't control the items that's included here, unfortunately. So you only got Bolt here and the rest of the assets are not in my list. Although from the looks of it, they're still highly rated by users. So I guess you can just check them out first and see whether you like any of them. The cool thing is, you only have to pay for the assets you don't own. For example, if I already have Bolt, I just need to pay for the remaining 4 assets that are listed in this bundle, and I still get that 55% off. Pretty sweet deal. You can get the link to this limited time offer in the description below. And besides the list and assets I've mentioned, there's tons of other high quality assets on sale. I highly recommend you check them out. I don't have time to mention all of them in this video, and I honestly have not tried all of them. So here's the link in the description below. I'm gonna share it anyway so you can browse on your own. And happy shopping! If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more game dev tips, tutorials, and inspiration. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.